Hi guys, welcome to Final Max Friday. Whew, it's hot, hot, hot. Well, when I say hot, I mean it's hot for England. And I appreciate that some of you who live in much hotter climates like Australia and stuff are probably like, what the hell is she moaning about? But anyway, it's hot for England. And it is hot for me in this room because it's at the front of the house and in full sun and I have to have fans on and stuff but then if I want to film a video I have to turn the fans off because oh, it's too noisy <gasps> problems anyway um, you come here for file facts related stuff not all the weather reports so um, yeah Righty ho then, um, just thought I would do a vlog today. I kind of like doing a vlog once a month, um, just kind of talking about random stuff, file faxy, stationery related, and um, kind of like what's been going on and stuff. I go on Instagram quite a lot, and I do love my Instagram, but I find Instagram's really easy to use, like when you're kind of waiting for something to come out of the oven or you kind of, you know, meandering around or whatever. You can, I'll just go on my phone and look at Instagram, so that's really, really cool. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I recently hit over a thousand followers. And I was just like, wow, that is just amazing that kind of a thousand people want to look at my photos. That just blows my mind. That's crazy. And, um, I mean... Wow, <laughs> to be honest with you, but I'm now um, like a thousand one hundred, which is just nuts. And so I ran a, um, a giveaway for a um, thousand followers, and pff, that's kind of closed now. But I was just like absolutely blown away. But then I kind of thought about it. Well, I really like looking at other people's facts related photos as well. So it makes sense that you guys would like to look at mine, I suppose. Um, but my Instagram account is for, it's my Instagram account, so it's about me. So on there I post photos of like my father facts, I post photos of like the bunnies and piggies and John and snippets from my life and journal related stuff and it's kind of like, I use Instagram and YouTube as well as like, as like journals as well, like different forms of journaling. Um, and yeah, just absolutely amazed that you guys, like, and I think some of you that watch these videos follow me as well, so I just kind of wanted another, uh, to say thank you in another place really, so thank you very much. And um, if I hit another milestone then I'll do another giveaway as a thank you, um, because I like to give back where I can, um, so yeah, thank you so much. Um, and... The giveaway was um, money to spend in my Etsy shop and last week I did the, um, I showed you how I organise my supplies on my desk and um, I said, I showed you some of the stuff that I sell in my shop and I said in that video that, you know, it wasn't a marketing video, I just happened to use the stuff that I sell in my shop because I like it and um, a couple of you have said like, you know, A, there's nothing wrong with marketing yourself and b there's nothing wrong with like showing this and i guess people just don't like talking about money and stuff they think it's vulgar and that's fine and i've never my youtube channel has never been about like marketing to, for you to go over and look at my etsy shop my youtube channel is a hobby that i really enjoy doing and i have two youtube channels this one which i talk about stationary stuff and file effects stuff on a Friday, art and journal stuff on a Tuesday. My other channel, I do um, book reviews on there, I do tea reviews, I do tag videos, I do haul videos, and I do just like day in the life type vlogs. And between the two channels, they're my hobby, and, um, but at the end of the day, I, like everybody, have bills to pay. You know, I've got a mortgage to pay, and need to feed myself and my four fur babies so I have an Etsy shop to sell stuff and um, yeah I shouldn't be ashamed of saying that so I'm gonna I have an Etsy shop if you didn't know I have an Etsy shop I have an Etsy shop I have an Etsy shop and um, I sell dashboards I sell my Firefax inserts I sell post-its 
and stickers and paper and all that kind of stuff. So if you didn't know, go and have a look at my um, shop. The link is in the thingy below. And I kind of just assumed that people knew that I had an Etsy shop. But then some people commented that they didn't actually know I had one. And I guess that's because I never really... Um, I never really... I kind of casually mention it in passing. But as I said, like, making YouTube videos is a hobby. I enjoy sharing with you um, if I've got any tutorials or I know how to do stuff. I'm happy to share with you um, because I don't want to keep all the knowledge to myself. And... You know, I just really enjoy sharing and making videos and stuff. So, I never ever made it a thing about like as a marketing thing to sell my stuff because that's just not what I'm about. And um, I'm actually, as you know, I I I have stuff and buy stuff from other people, and um, I'm very happy to do that. And I love doing that because just because I've got an Etsy shop doesn't mean that I'm not going to promote someone else's stuff if. I like it because that's just really short sighted because just because you know everyone likes different things so just because I sell washi tape doesn't mean I can't promote any other washi tape because we all have different tastes and we all like different tapes as well so I'm always really happy to kind of collaborate with other people like I've done in recent giveaways and you know to and I think competition is good and healthy let's kind of share it about so anyway that's kind of enough about um me and um all right my stuff so basically i just wanted to say thank you guys for being really understanding and um saying like you know go ahead and promote yourself every once in a while so thank you for like your support your support means a, a, more than you could know you know and a year ago I started my channel, just let load me chatting away to a camera in a room and I'm rambling now. But um yeah, so as a long winded way of just saying thank you for your support really, both on Instagram and here and that yeah, I do have an Etsy shop. If you were interested in any stuff, go and have a look at that. And that's that. So we shall we call it a day on that topic? Yeah. The Bilofaxi tour in London, the vlog that I shared with you, you all really wanted to know what I bought and I kind of replied to those comments and I said like seriously guys, I really didn't buy that much, really genuinely and you said please show, please show, please show and I said, Kate went back and I said, but I really didn't buy that much and you still said please show, so I'm going to show you. So don't be disappointed, okay? Um, I bought some, in Fort of Masons, I bought some tea. And I do tea on my other channel, so if you watch over there, you'll see that. And I bought um, a present for someone and some sweets. And that's all I bought at Fort of Masons. And I purchased a um, journal in Ryman's stationery. And this is what it looks like. It's quite large. It's, um, it was an A4. 100 GSM cartridge paper and it's still in its plastic wrap. I felt the um, the one in the shop was unwrapped and so I had a little bit of a grope and um, I'm a journal junkie. I love buying journals. I get through journals and if you watched any of my journal videos you know I toy with the idea of whether to make them, buy them and all that kind of stuff. So I really liked the look of this one and so I figured I would just buy it. It was £6 I think, which in terms of notebooks, particularly for an A4 size, I thought was very reasonable because um, if you go to Hobbycraft their sketchbooks are quite expensive. So I purchased this and I liked the elastic closure bit, um, yeah, so that's what I bought in Ryman's. But it's more journal related which is why I wouldn't like you know if you don't watch my journal videos because you're not interested in journaling but I'm showing it to you because that's what I bought on the Filofaxi tour and the very last thing I bought I told you I really didn't buy that much is this box from Paper Chase a beautiful box isn't it with all the birdies on and it's a letter writing set and um, 
the paper is blank on one side and it has the birdies on the other side i actually bought this in the sale um this was three pounds fifty in the sale so i didn't pay that much for it and those are what the envelopes look like just like a nice damask pattern so yeah that's guys that is it that was all i bought um what else is new yes on Wednesday on my blog um, I had a lovely guest post from Bex from Just Pinning she um, she took the clouds dashboard that I gave away as a digital download um, on Filofax Friday um, she took that cloud dashboard and she printed it on acetate and um, she tagged me in her photo that she posted on Instagram and I thought it looked lovely and I messaged her and said that looks really cool do you fancy writing a guest blog post on my blog and she said yeah that would be lovely so that went up on Wednesday and um, she has set up her own Etsy shop and she is selling fly leaves for dashboards and um, she's a lovely lady so Beck sent me a um, couple of her fly leaves to share with you guys and I love um, she sent me an A5 size with um, minions on. I love minions. I did um, a um, layout of minions decoration a few weeks ago. Um, so, so it's a pity that I didn't have um, this fly leaf when I did my um, minions layout in my file pack. Um, but I have it now and I really love it. It's just so, it's just so cute and yes, awesome. And she makes these in um, any size. And um, I also have this one. It's a minty colour with pink hearts on it and it's pocket size. And yeah, and her... Her address, she's justpinning.com, she's got a website and a blog, and her Etsy shop is also Just Keep Pinning, so um, go and check her stuff out, she's got, um, she's selling a kind of a variety of things for Filofax, and she blogs about Filofax, but she also blogs about um, other crafty things, and yeah, and so she guest posted on my blog on Wednesday. Um, yeah, and I love them, so I can't wait to put them to good use in my file bags. Ah, excited much, yes. I also wanted to say today that um, in my last vlog, I said that I had kind of stopped giving you guys homework. Um, because I said that there were, you know, I mean, I don't expect to get like, oh, well done, well done, well done, every time I do something. Nah. Um, but... What I said was I was doing homework every week and I hadn't had any feedback to say whether people were doing it, were enjoying it, wanted it, all that kind of stuff. So I kind of stopped doing it. And then you guys said, oh, we missed the homework. We really enjoyed it. Um, so, <laughs> so I, I'm going to think about redoing the homework again. And I will think about doing some more informative videos like at the very beginning of this year when I started Fun Facts Friday I kind of imparted my knowledge on time management and goal setting that um, I'd bought with me from when I used to work in HR in a com you know, commercial setting so I'm thinking about going back and doing some more of those videos Fun Facts Friday is is me talking about Fun Facts obviously in what any way shape or form that is so it might be tutorials it might be just chatty vlogs like this it might be more kind of um instructional type videos it just it's just a, a, a mix and you know you can pick and choose which which ones of those you like to watch um so i'm thinking about doing some more of those kind of like informative ones that i did at the beginning of the year um, but I just kind of need to formulate in my head what I'm going to do and what they're going to be. But if there's anything in particular you would like to know or want any ideas or inspiration from, 
then let me know in the comments below and I will try, I can't make any promises, but I will try and incorporate that in. Um, because hey, let's face it, YouTube is social media and it's kind of like a two-way a, a two-way thing just because I make videos, do you know what I mean? It's like feel free to kind of comment back. Um that's that I love chatting to you guys. Um, you know, feel free to like kind of comment back and if you've got any suggestions, that's fine. I'm not making any promises, but I will try. But anyway, I just need to kind of think a bit about um what I'm going to do going forward. The last thing I wanted to say is it's been quite a while since I've done a Q&A video and um, if any of you guys were interested and you kind of, oh my tummy's on blue, um, if any of you guys are interested and you wanted to kind of ask me any questions then feel free to ask them below and um, if, if there's interest, then I'll do a Q&A video. If there's not, then um, I won't. But um, yeah, if that's the sort of thing you'd like, then leave me some questions and I will do another Q&A video at some point. Um, so that's it from me today. Just a kind of a rambly, chatty vlog, um, which I really enjoy making. <laughs> um, and yes, I shall be back next week. And next week I'm going to be talking about... this little chap um yes what is it for so stay tuned for next week thanks for watching guys bye